going back to those genes, do you feel like a guy who, who belongs on an SEC court? Do you, it's only your sophomore year, but do you feel like one of the more dominant players in any time you step on the court? Yeah, uh, Yes, sir, I do. Few college basketball players made such a leap from their freshman year to their sophomore year. He went from being a bench player who could do a little bit of everything to a trained scorer without a ball who could take advantage of confrontations of various sizes. His scoring improved by an average of six points, and he played a key role in the Bulldogs' offense. In the next few minutes, I'll tell you what you can expect from Robert Woodard as he goes on his NBA career. On the first days of August, Robert Woodard made a decision, stay in the 2020 NBA draft and give up his last two seasons in Starkville. He announced it through his Instagram account. As you know, I entered the NBA draft with the option to maintain my eligibility. After much consideration, I have decided to remain in the 2020 NBA Draft. The Bulldog experience will always be deep in my heart. Once a Bulldog, always a Bulldog. Hashtag Hail State. Will he have made the right decision based on his numbers? Woodard made 32 career starts, including all 31 Mississippi State games last season. He averaged 8.3 points and 5.3 rebounds during his two-year career. As a sophomore, he increased his totals to 11.4 points and 6.5 rebounds per game. He shot well from behind the three-point line, knocking down 30 of his 70 attempts. But if you don't quite know who we are talking about, here are his numbers. Robert Woodard plays small forward, is 6 foot 5 inches tall, and weighs 236 pounds. Born September 22, 1999 in the city of Starkville. Trained as a basketball and baseball player, he finally ended up opting for the sport of orange and shining at Columbus High School, allowing him to win the Mississippi State Player of the Year award in his last two years. After graduating, he opted to begin his NCAA career right at Mississippi State. Woodard didn't have a big role in his rookie season with the Bulldogs, averaging only 5.5 points and 4.1 rebounds. However, he became a starter for 2019-2020 and finished with interesting numbers. 11.4 points, 6.5 rebounds, 1.1 steals, 1 block, and 43% in 3-pointers. Besides, it is worth noting that in 2015, he represented his country with the U16 team, taking the gold medal of the pre-World Cup played in Bahia Blanca, Argentina. He averaged 5.6 points and 3.8 rebounds. ESPN's NBA Draft Player Ranking has placed Woodard as the 25th best available player. Scouts prefer Woodard's 6-foot, 7-inch, 230-pound body with a 7-foot-1 wingspan. In terms of his evolution, the most impressive thing for Woodard was the development of an outside shot. His growth included a 15% jump from long distance, with increased confidence to score on all three levels. But how does Woodard fit into an NBA draft? That's what divided the experts in the mock draft over where he will be selected. Some of them haven't even recruited him. They see him as an undersized four because of his rebounds and presence around the hoop. But his subsequent moves are non-existent. On the other hand, Woodard is well-built and has an NBA-ready frame. It led him to be an effective rebounder, 6.5 boards per game as a non-traditional post player and a good defender with the agility to block shots. He also has a high basketball IQ, which makes him a level defender without a ball. And it runs in the family. Woodard's father, Robert Woodard, is the all-time leading scorer at Mississippi High School with 4,274 points. He also continued his playing days at Mississippi State. Are there interest in franchises in Woodard? Well, he could easily fit in with the Wizards. Positional flexibility with a three-point ability would be the reason the Wizards would take a chance on him. Many of the fundamentals of their game are already established, which would not mean that Washington would need to spend time developing them. He has an offensive game similar to Rui Hachimura's, good size and builds, which is also occasionally placed behind the goal. He can also rotate to multiple positions. Then one would have to ask, is there much to justify his participation in the lottery without teams already bidding for him? The first thing to note about Woodard is his excellent physical and athletic profile. He is the prototype of the NBA Eves, with very good height, power, and tremendous athletic ability. Woodard projects himself as a role player in attack and gets his points in different ways. One of them is as a shooter on foot, where he went from shooting 27% as a freshman to 43% as a sophomore. He has good mechanics and fluidity in his shooting. Another important leg of his scoring quota is through the cuts without the ball, something that allows him not to depend on the outside shot. In return, 
the forward also gets points by attacking the offensive board. He dropped 2.7 offensive rebounds for every 40 minutes during 2019 to 2020, a figure more normal to see in a 5 than in a 3. Beyond his offense, Woodard's greatest potential is probably in defense, where he is versatile and has all the tools necessary to stand out. However, Woodard is far from being a dangerous offensive player. He has the lowest scoring average of all major prospects coming out of the NCAA, only scoring 13.7 points per 40 minutes. His ball handling is weak, and we will rarely see him create. And when he does, it's usually not effective. Much more defining than generating, and probably limited to being a fourth or fifth choice at the NBA level. He draws few fouls, and barely passed 60% from the line in his NCAA career. His three-point improvement is interesting, but he has few attempts. He took only 2.8 three-pointers for 40 minutes with the Bulldogs. He doesn't offer much as a passer. The offense passed little through his hands in the NCAA, and that will only deepen in the NBA. So, could James Woodard give us a real surprise and become an NBA superstar? Time will tell, but that doesn't seem to be the case if we are guided by what he has achieved so far. He's likely to become a standard player with some flashes, but not someone who will leave us with our mouths hanging open. I hope we're wrong, but the statistics so far don't lie.